This is a demonstration of how to obtain blood pressure and vital signs from a patient. Before you begin with your blood pressure assessment, there are a few things you need to do to prepare yourself and your client for the actual measurement. Neither the patient nor the observer should talk during the measurement. No smoking or nicotine for your patient 15 to 30 minutes prior to the blood pressure assessment. Also, there should be no caffeine consumed for your patient one hour prior to the blood pressure assessment. Your patient should be seated comfortably for five minutes with their back supported. Their legs should not be crossed. Their upper arm should be bare without constrictive clothing. The arm should also be supported at heart level. Be sure to use a calibrated, accurate sphygmomanometer. Use a cuff with an appropriate bladder width matched to the size of the arm. Once you and your client are prepared, you may begin with the measurement itself. Palpate the brachial artery. Place the cuff with the edge three centimeters above the elbow crease and the bladder over the brachial artery. Palpate the radial pulse. Inflate the cuff quickly to determine at which number the radial pulse is extinguished. In this case, the radial pulse disappeared at 120 millimeters of mercury. Deflate the cuff rapidly. Place the diaphragm of the stethoscope gently over the brachial artery. Increase the pressure rapidly to 30 millimeters of mercury above the level at which the radial pulse was extinguished. Open the control valve so the rate of deflation is approximately 2 to 3 millimeters of mercury per second, which is slow. The first and last audible sounds are recorded as systolic and diastolic pressure. Repeat the above procedure. Two measurements should be taken in the same arm and in the same position. Record the blood pressure to the closest two millimeters of mercury, the arm used, whether the patient was supine, standing, or seated. Before taking the patient's heart rate and pulse rate, ensure they are seated comfortably. You will need a wristwatch or clock that displays seconds. In order to take a heart rate or a pulse rate, locate the radial pulse. Count the beats. A 15 to 30 second count is most accurate. If the measurement was taken for 15 seconds, multiply your result by 4. If the measurement was taken for 30 seconds, multiply your result by 2. In an adult, the normal heart rate is 60 to 100 beats per minute. While you are assessing the heart rate and the pulse rate, you are noting the quality, the rhythm, and the rate of the heart rate. The respiratory rate should be assessed while assessing the heart rate and the pulse. You will be counting breaths for 15 seconds. Look at the client's chest rise and fall as you consult your watch. In an adult, the normal respiratory rate is 18 to 20 breaths per minute.